It's a story of dreams crashing down, peace turning to frustration, and love literally hurting. Tapping into his own background, Alex Tyson tackles some uncomfortable topics in his first novel, A Family Affair, which was recently adopted to the stage. Alex joins me now along with Rodney Moore, the play's director. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on Connecticut Style. Thanks so, for Thanks for having us. Alex, let's start off with you and your story. Um, okay. You didn't have the easiest upbringing. You were involved in gangs in New Haven, and now you're an author. There's got to be some chunk of time there that we're, we're missing and how this all came to be. Uh, well, um, I knew my time was, was running out in the streets. Um, I got accused of something that really would uh, uh, like put me away for a while or whatever. So I made the decision that, you know, it, it was time for me to do something positive instead of around here running, doing the negative. So that inspired me to channel everything I've seen and everything I've done into a, a book. And that's how I came up with Start the Right Family Affair. And it's, uh, you now have another book, a third on the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've come a long way. This is really exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. I really like what I do. So when you like what you do, you keep it going. Sure. And what made, gave you the idea to turn it into a play? Uh, well, you know, it's not like people in our community can't read, but a lot of them choose not to read. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe if I put it on stage that, you know, a lot of people that, that's not interested in reading could come out and see it live, mm -hmm. you know? That makes sense. Now, Rodney, you were involved in the play. You were an actor originally. Now you've turned to the director. Tell me a little bit about what folks are going to see. Uh, basically, you're going to see a, a wonderful play with some really, really talented local actors and actresses. Um, the play basically is about a, a, a young girl who made some wrong decisions in her life as, as a teenager. Um, and then once her father leaves, she seems to constantly just make the same decision over and over again, which basically resulted into some bad things in her life. But now, right, I don't want to interrupt, but what are we looking at right here? Well, right here you're looking at, I think, uh, one of the, two of the main characters, uh, Jackie, who's the one that makes the wrong decision, is also um, looking at her so-called husband or boyfriend at the mm -hmm. time who is contemplating because he lost his job he's contemplating on making a bad decision to try to keep his family together so. I see. I, I, and he lost his job because of a past record he was yes. doing everything right and they discovered he had a record and they let him go mm -hmm. that's a lot of us run into that in the urban community I right. can imagine that could yeah. be a problem yeah. okay um, and what are we looking at here uh, okay. right here is that this this particular one is when uh, she actually has her first child okay. um, as a teenager, and, and the family's around her, giving her that support. So. All right. Um, so what's, uh, what's a, a message that folks take away from seeing the play? The message basically is that um, no matter what kind of issues you're going through with the family, um, um, if there's someone spiritually in the household who wants to keep the family together um, through spirituality and, and their beliefs and, and whatever it is, uh, uh, that helps them keep their family together and no matter what decision you make or what matter the outcome of it whether it's good or bad especially mm -hmm. if it's bad if your spirituality is there and you have someone strong um, they can keep that family together and, and, and learn to move on all right now we have all the information we're going to put up on your screen yes. so you can see a family affair there it is it's march 12 6 p.m at the first cathedral church in bloomfield that's a gigantic church you're not going to miss <laughs> yeah. that one once you're up there right. so just as we finish up here does jackie make the right decision does her life turn around um, it, um, I think when you come to the play, you, you probably have to see for yourself. <laughs> see but, for um, myself. I think uh, she she will let you know if she's ready to make that uh, Very right good. decision. So. Well, Alex and Ronnie, thank you both for being here on Connecticut thank you Style. For me. Okay. Coming up next.